what are they going to get out of your book? Who have you bagged firstly? There has to be a selling point, surely. Oh yeah, well I, you know, uh, Don Bradman, I sort of suggested that, uh, well sorry Sir Donald, um, <laughs> that uh, he, you know, he's had a big part in us all signing for World Series cricket. Um, when I, you know, when I dealt with him, I guess because I knew the history, uh, having grown up in a cricketing family and grandfather who played with Bradman, and I knew that Bradman had had some problems with the board when he was mm -hmm. a player. And uh, uh, some of those problems were to do with money. So I stupidly thought when I went to see him, uh, uh, he's a bloke who'll empathise with our situation. Yep. But instead it was like I was asking him to spend his own money. And um, and in the end, uh, as I say, we, a lot of us signed for World Series cricket. Ian, I can't let you go without asking you about uh, your, your captain of the Melbourne Stars, SK Warren. Uh, you're the chairman of the selectors down there. All of this, uh, shall we say, nonsense about him coming back to the Australian Test team, do you put it down as nonsense, uh, or do you think that there is potentially sub -subst some substance to it? Well, I can tell you our first uh, teleconference the other day to pick the 13 for the game against the Renegades, and probably people will start ringing and saying we should have uh, <laughs> we should have selected that side better because they got a whooping. But um, when we came on the line, I said, "Okay, Warney, now how many games are you going to be missing with the Stars while you're playing in all these Test matches?" He said, "Oh, don't people bloody read what I write?" He said, uh, "The bloke asked me the question: Could I play Test cricket? Not would I play Test cricket?" So I think that's some. Shut up.